Are you looking for a tool that will help unlock more information about bow fishing? Well, you've come to the right place. Oh man, I can't believe I just missed that. Building a greater understanding and appreciation for the sport of bow fishing typically comes from a mixture of experience and education, and we're here to share both of these with you. For example, our videos will always focus on things that will make you a better bow fisher, and today that focus will be on navigating our website at twibowfishing.com. Now of course, promoting our videos is the primary goal, but there's even more here to explore including two very cool areas related to our events calendar and our records pages. So let's dive into the events calendar first. From our homepage, you can see that we have our videos featured. And if you wanna spend some time there, please do. But we're gonna start off with the event calendar link right here. Now the primary calendar shows the month we're currently in, along with the current day being highlighted. And you can move back and forth across the months and any day that has an event will display a dot on that day. When you choose the day, you will see the event or maybe even multiple events. And each event can then be selected to get more information. We've scoured social media looking for events related to bow fishing. And we've broken those down into a few major categories like annual meetings, kids events, tournament pre-registrations, day tournaments, night tournaments, and sports shows. And we've tagged each of those events accordingly. Click on the tag search bar below the calendar and you can choose any one of those categories. Or you can choose a state and will only display events for that particular state. If nothing appears or a tag isn't available, it means we haven't found information for that type of event yet. Below the tag search bar, we have all of the events available in chronological order. Scroll through them and click on each one to load more info. For all events that have already occurred, we are updating the event with the outcome whether it's meeting information or tournament results. We want to have a repository that makes it easy for you to go back and find the information you're looking for. Now let's take a look at our records pages. We have spent a ton of time getting this information into a view that will make finding records as easy as possible. The top link takes you to a page with all current BAA world and youth world records. And we start with freshwater species and then follow that up with saltwater. As you can see, all of the species are grouped together by name. For example, if you're looking for carp, you will see all the species that have carp in their name, from big heads to silvers. And there's no need to jump between adult and youth categories on the BAA pages, as they are all right here. If we back up, we can also choose an individual state and see a similar view where the adult and youth records are listed side by side. We've also noted if the fish is a world record or a youth world record on each page with a set of asterisks. In addition, for states that have actual state records, we've included that information for comparison. As many times a person will set a BAA record and not be familiar with the process to register it for a state record as well. So we've set a link on all of these pages to take you to that information also. Here's a great example. If we look at the state of Wisconsin, there are BAA records, BAA youth records, Wisconsin Bowfishing Association records, and true Wisconsin state records. And in some cases, they are all different. If you want to learn more about submitting your fish as a new record, click on the top of the column and it will bring up the informational page to help you get your record submitted. Now, if you're wondering how we plan to keep up with all of this information as things change, we've set a series of web page trackers to alert us if anything changes on the pages managed by each organization. So you can feel confident that what you're looking at is a current record. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you is how we've captured information for state bow fishing organizations. For any state that has an organization, we've set it up so that you can click on that state and it will take you directly to their website or their social media page for that particular organization. Overall, our goal is to provide you with the easiest, most comprehensive information you can find anywhere. There are many other places to get bits and pieces of this information, but nothing is as complete or as intuitive as what we have here at TWIBowfishing.com. There you have it. And while our website will be consistently updated, you now have immediate access to prime information without having to scour social media. 
If you're an event planner, you can help make our lives even easier by giving us some information firsthand. And as our following grows, so will your event's visibility. That's all for now, but if you've got a few minutes, check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our new offerings.